Hello, everybody, and welcome back to World of Warships Legends. My name is Spartan Elite 43, and tonight it's update day, so I am anticipating maximum fun being had. And we got some new ships to play with, so let's take them out and have some fun. Who we got in chat? We got Dewan, Simulator Pro, Toy Fat Bear Gamer. Fair enough. Michael J, Ender, Phase JA. Uh, Morningwood's in the chat. Ryan, uh, Landon, good to see you. TTV, Alexander, Steve S, Dart68, Kevin Wilson, Ryan Shaky, Eskel, Zachary, Onyx, Ave, Lee Alrighty. Alrighty then, let's get this party started. And we finished a bureau project for the Vermont. Yay, I, I mean a v bureau segment, I should say. Oh, just win a battle in North Carolina? I can do that in regular mode. Surely. Surely I can do that in regular mode. Normally I do these in AI, because it's like a guarantee. We'll, we'll try it in, in regular mode. Alright, store. I think I already collected my free crate for the day, because I logged in first thing this morning. But I hope you all are doing well. I just got out of the gym. Uh, started deload day, for, or deload week for uh, my workout program, so... Pretty, pretty straightforward, easy day. All right, let's get this party started. Uh, tier 6, North Carolina. Just so that we can complete that uh, real quick. Where are you at, North Carolina? There you are. Let's go. Ricky, uh, Sievert, good to see you guys. Void, Rogue's in the chat. I think I already called out Michael J., Birdman, how's it going? Caterman, god dang this fucking mic stand. I'm gonna lose it. If if I lose it today, it's gonna be this mic stand. I really, really, really need a new mic stand. I ain't gonna lie. Ah, gotta get me a new one. This one is junk, man. It's falling down. It's like all over the place. Like, I hate it. I hate it. What up, Chaffee? Cody? Starlord? Suzerain? Appreciate you guys all dropping in. Rogue coming in, dropping. I'm 10 times zoomed in. Uh-oh. All that thought. Thank you for calling it out. Appreciate you. Fit the screen, please. There you go. Super easy fix. Thank you. Appreciate you, Rogue. Thank you for the two pound. Can we get some goats in the chat for... For Mr. Uh, ARFG Rogue. For coming in clutch and letting me know. Also, hello, new spawns. Who's this? Hello? Nice. I'm not spawned all the way over there waiting to get yeeted for once. Isn't that nice? What up, Robert? Demetrios? Christy, good to see you guys. Hopefully everybody's having a great day. I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna do my best. I'm gonna do my best to have a great day today. All right, we're just gonna have fun testing out some new ships. Okay, we did get spotted. Woo, look at that. Look at that situational awareness. Blow! Blow! Okay, we haven't hit that guy yet. Hold up. Blow! There we go. I was blasted. Black, black, black. That first shot on that uh, Nelson was pretty so my lanta. Hold that thought. Get the Leon, everybody! Wait for it! Bonk! <gasps> what?! I've been robbed! That's bullsh- Also, our Aoba's already dead. I mean, look at his positioning on the map. What do you think is gonna happen if you just turn and go full broadside in front of everybody that you spawn next to? In a Japanese heavy cruiser. Hello? Oh, fuck! Turn burglar alert! This is where the steering gears comes in real goddamn handy. Also, the spawns changed. Oh, it's because it's a weird domination. Okay, I got it. So this is a smaller version of the map. That makes sense. That's the first time we've we've done this. 
I'll be honest. Uh, they got three DDs and two of them got to be right here. Don't that figure. Don't that figure. Mayhem, look out, buddy. You're going to get messed up. I hope he lands these torps, though. They look, they look solid. Get him! Get the little turd wobbles! Not my turd wobble, your turd wobbles. Oh my god, this freaking mayhem. Use your smoke, my guy! Why are you just taking a beating and, like, accepting it? Well, hello there, Nelson. Goodbye, Nelson. Oh, <gasps> he lives! I've been robbed. Yeah, he doesn't live anymore. All right, this New Mexico could be a potential problem, but I'm more worried about the Colorado because of the overmatch. Yeah, I, New Mexico is accurate. Those 14-inch guns aren't quite as scary as these 16-inch guns, so we're going to try to hit this guy here. Use our first heal. All right, that, that's enough, you little turd. I'm going to teach you a new trick you keep it up. If you get the reference, you're old too. Problem is, now that I've come over here, my teammates have all decided they wanted to fuck off. Which is not ideal. Dude, this is the most... A oh, and the Wabuki's awake. The most accurate god dang New Mexico you've ever seen in your life. Okay, that should be a dead Colorado. We're gonna have to turn all the way out here to avoid the torpedoes that are guaranteed to be coming. Just hope he gets away with... I hate this game. I hate it! Hate it all! Hate this game! Get me the fuck out of here! Watch. Most accurate salvo you've ever seen in your life. Clearly. <laughs> oh! Rear turrets of truth and justice on the way! I told you! I told you! It's the rear turret of truth and justice! Screw you! <laughs> Take this, you little turd! Torpedoes are stunned! Blam! Hey! You wanna citadel me with the rear turrets? The fact that I'm being hunted by a may or by a Fabuki is less than ideal if I'm being honest. I think he has doubled back though. Yeah, I think he's doubled back, so he should be okay. Ah, uh, this angle does he go through? Yeah, not too bad. Alright. How accurate is it? He turned a little bit, so probably not going to get that many hits. Eh, serviceable. Alright, I'm going to start the turn in and hope he doesn't get loaded. Should go dark, in theory. Okay, we dark. He didn't get the shot off. Let's get the heal. No fucking chance. He fired so late. There is no chance. This guy's the greatest player on the planet he lands at. All right, sunshine, it's time to learn some new tricks. I respect it, but you gotta go. I did not lead him enough. Still a decent re result, but... I am worried about that Fabuki coming back. We got the Gokusei over there on the right. But this guy is my primary target. This guy made a little turd. This guy made a little turd, and I'm done with it. All right, cowboy, I'm done. Go ahead. You gonna, you gonna try to bow tank me? Huh? Huh? I have a feeling you're gonna turn back out. So we're gonna lead just in front of you. You and your little throttle jockey and trying to juke stuff. Who do you think you are? Me? You ain't that guy. I promise. I promise you ain't that guy. And you're gonna have no choice but to get a little bit closer. But I am worried about this Fubuki. I ain't gonna lie. I know he's here. He cannot resist coming after me when I'm going bow bow in with another battleship. Surely. Okay, he's making his turn a little early. Maybe a mistake on his end. Let's punish him for it. Come on, North Carolina. We should be able to get angled decently here. There we go. Plink, plink, plink. Yeah, you see how that works? Huh? You can't do that because I got 16 inch guns and you don't. Ha! I, I'm, I'm kind of spicy tonight, I ain't gonna lie. Get this party stack. <gasps> Thank God this Fabuki's bad. 
Aim high, that's a dead. That's he's dead. He's done. Goodbye, Knight. Good night, Sunshine. Good good game. Good game. I give you credit, my dude. You may be in a tier five, I'm in a tier six. I got the advantage, but you played well. I can respect it. Now I'm gonna get murdered by a goddamn Fabuki that doesn't know what the fuck he's doing. <laughs> Clearly. Alright, let's get this cap. Get this cap. Try not to die to a Fabuki. Thank God that Fabuki's bad. I ain't gonna lie. That dude needs to learn how to torp things. What up, James? How's it going? Haman, I see you changed your name. But you can't fool me. Ghost Knight, how's it going? Jessica, how's it going? Andrew Rarick coming in with 13 months. Thank you so much. Get some goats in the chat for Andrew as well. I'm going to be streaming my ass off this week, guys. So I hope y'all are ready. We're going to be streaming a lot because uh, I don't really have a choice. This has been one of the worst months in terms of uh, ad revenue that I've had in a long time. So I got I to gotta try to make some money. Oh, my God. Hello? Little to the left. Little to the left. Ah, come on, North Carolina. Little to the left, man. Damn it. It's all right, though. But, yeah, I'm going to be streaming a lot this week because I got to try to make some money. So hopefully you guys, hopefully y'all can help me out. I do appreciate y'all. Aztec, how's it going? Scott, Wolfie, good to see you guys. Sean, Manny, Simpin, good to see everybody here tonight. Hopefully you guys are having a good time. Don't forget to punch that like button. Let's get those likes up, guys. We, we need to get YouTube thinking that this is the best place to hang out on a Monday evening. Look at that shot. Bah! What? They all went high? The man didn't even change course. I got robbed. I, I got robbed. Also, how is this California not murdering those guys? Let me just be, be honest. This guy's launching shots at like five or six kilometers at these destroyers. Ah, oh, yeah, he turned out this time. Watch, these will be the ones that land short. I expected them to go a little bit long. I ain't even saying it. Ain't even saying it. Ain't even saying it. I'm, just, I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed. <laughs> ben Lag coming in re-upping for one month. Thank you so much, man. Get a goat in the chat for Ben as well. That is a dead California. California. This guy's 100% going to bounce off that border, and these shells are going to be waiting for him. Get him, North Carolina! One? Oh, my God. I am about to throw something. I ain't going to lie. I am legitimately about to throw something. This is frustrating as hell. It's not that my aim is bad. It's just the game is like, yeah, there's a thing right there. We're not going to let you hit that thing. We're going to hit everywhere but that thing. We're going to go long. We're going to go short. We're going to splash on both sides of them. We're not going to hit the thing in the middle. Fuck you, RNG. I know what it is. I didn't get to sacrifice my baby carrot today, so we're going to be struggling. All right, now these guys are definitely in range to torp, so we're going to go ahead and change course. The Gepard, not so much, but definitely the Fubuki, so. Even though we know that guy can't torp. Our victory is in sight. That guy couldn't torp me if we were in a wet paper sack. Oh, he might be able to torp that guy, though. I'm going to aim high, expecting him to turn out here. Looks good. Two shells. At least we hit him that time. Like, they're not being sneaky. Like, they're, they're not exactly trying to dodge. They're just getting lucky. He is so far behind on his torps, man. Oh, that one looks better. It's still, He's still behind, but that one definitely looks better, and it looks like the Gneisenau is going to take two of them by turning in. Bonk. Bonk. I'm not spotted, so I think the, the little turd waffles behind that smoke screen. So he should be getting lit up by our destroyer over there, you would think. Oh, he wasn't behind the smoke. How did he not spot me? Alright, that should be a dead guepard, surely. Between me and the god Izano. Of course the god Izano missed. <laughs> The guy, the guy's no literally just swung and missed on a guy that was barely moving. That ain't the most guy's no thing in the world. True penicillin, thank you for 15 months. Appreciate you. And Jess coming in with the five dollar bomb. Also, my donation to you because I care. New UAD stream campaign. Uh, we will be starting a new campaign shortly. I uh, just take a little bit of a break because seven months of streaming the same game is rough. 
So uh, thank you so much, Jess. Also, get some goats in the chat for the folks. Don't forget, if you guys are enjoying, not a bad game to start with. First game of the stream, 116K victory in the North Carolina. Not too shabby. All right, let's go back to our uh, bureau. Now that we passed, we passed the check. Time to go ahead and... Uh, Add our commanders and ships here. Oh, Lord. I am so tired of these god dang pop-ups. Like, I could not care less. I know that I completed the Bureau. Okay? <laughs> right? Just You don't have to pop up every time I do something. Like, I'll tell you what. This morning when I started playing the, the new ships, man, I probably got 30 pop-ups in the span of five minutes. I was pissed. I was like, just let me play the game! <laughs> For the love of God! Oh... I don't know why they do so many pop-ups, man. It's terrible. All right, North Carolina, little synop action, little tier tier seven ship action. Not too shabby. Do we have any extra? If I'm not paying for it, but if we got some extra, yeah, we got some extra. Let's skip. We got? Nope, that was all of our extra. <laughs> Spark, you got thirty-five thousand doubloons. Why don't you use some? Cause I'm cheap. Screw that. <laughs> I'm not in a hurry to play the Vermont. I played the Vermont enough when it was loaned to me to last a long time. I'm not in a hurry. <laughs> Let's get our uh, containers unlocked here real quick. And we'll play some of the new ships. <gasps> Japanese cruiser crate! I wonder if we'll get anything. And... Nothing! <laughs> Who could have seen that coming? Thought for sure I'd get something. Alright, let's go. DJ's Club coming in re-upping for 13 months too, man. Y'all are crazy today. Thank you guys so much. Appreciate you. I appreciate you. All right. Let's go. Let's pull out the new little, uh, the wannabe German that doesn't get hide, so it's terrible. Or I should say, the most cracked tier, tier 8 battle. It's tier 8, isn't it? I'm a dumb. I'm a dumb. It's tier 8. Like, if, if we got a, a hybrid commander that allowed you to, like, build into secondaries and have some accuracy, probably wouldn't be so bad. But the accuracy when you go full secondary build on this thing is so bad, and you don't really have a choice. Like, you could potentially throw a uh, different cruiser, like, or the, like, generic commander on there, maybe. Like, if you wanted to. Go, like, Conrad Helfrick. But he doesn't really have the greatest stuff on, on the planet. I mean, it would potentially help for a little bit of extra fire starting, potentially. Um, but yeah, it's just not the greatest thing in the world. I will say this. It's got fast torpedoes. So there's that. But, uh, yeah. I don't know. It, it's just, with this commander, it struggles at, at tier 8, tier, tier uh, legendary tier. Like, this thing struggles at higher tiers. Mainly because of this. Let me show you guys real quick. We look at the armor real quick. Yes, you have a good belt, but it's so flat, man. It's like it's it's like Minnesota. It's like it's like uh, Kansas, like Vermont, like all these old school like World War One designs sort of things. It's just so flat, so flat. May have thick armor, but she flat, man. She flat. She got no chest on her, and it, and it hurts when you get hit a lot. It does have a lot of secondaries. And with this build, it goes out to... Uh, do, goes out to 9.8 kilometers. That's because I, I took the, the thing off to get a little bit more main gun accuracy, I think. Uh, maybe not. Was it this one? No. Oh. Okay, I guess it's just 9.8. I could have swore that I did something to get a little bit... Oh, Andrew Cunningham. I, I pulled Haruna off for a little bit of extra grouping. That's what I did. I knew I did something. I'm not crazy. But yeah, it's got all the negatives of a of a German battleship, but you don't get to use hide, so it's absolutely abysmal. And you don't get a hipper commander either, so you don't really get to build into any accuracy at all. But uh, we'll go over. We'll take it out and show you guys what it's about. What up, Ryan? Pop 58, Marble Flint, World War II dogfighter. Good to see you guys. Uh, Corbin, good to see you. Do appreciate all y'all. Don't forget to punch that like button. Support artist, I see you. German battleship enjoyer. 
Flatty is now unplayable. They nerfed the speed by one knot. Did they? I don't think they even touched the... I, I think you're crazy. I think you're crazy. I don't think they touched the, the Vladdy at all. I don't remember reading about it in the thing. I think you're crazy. <laughs> also, one knot is not going to make a ship unplayable. I'm sorry. Especially a freaking tanky-ass battleship like the Vladdy. One knot is unnoticeable. Landon's leaving chat. All right. Hope you have a good night. Justin, how's it going? Esco, thank you for 13 months. And Scar King coming in re-upping for six months. Man, you guys are crazy. Thank you guys so much, man. All right. So the updated spawn points here are, are kind of nice. They still screw over these guys in the middle. They should spawn the guys that spawn middle a little bit further back because they still kind of pin pin somebody right next to that island, which is awful. But, uh, yeah, it looks like we're going to be all alone. I'm all alone. There's nobody here beside me. This thing doesn't have the worst um, AA, though. So, Saipan's still going to have its way with us if it decides to come after us, but hopefully it doesn't. Like a dog needs a bone. But you gotta have friends. What up, Damon? What up, Scar? It's going pretty well. Uh, just got one game in so far, Damon. So we got an Azuma over here. That's kind of scary. Hawk could be scary, depending on if they know what they're doing. Because we don't overmatch these guys with our 305s, and getting close is going to be hard with a carrier and hard hitters against us. We got a Hawk, we got the uh, Azuma, like that's a lot of hard hitting guns. Azuma's firing AP. That, that Azuma's scary. Assuming he's going to turn away a little bit here, but if he turns back in, we might be able to catch him over angle. Look at that, it's almost purely horizontal, so like if you get broadsides, you can do some work with these guns. But uh, that's with an upgraded shell grouping using Cunningham. Just you are not going to get accuracy out of these. Now, the destroyer is on the other side of the map, so we may decide to go in here. We do have sonar, but it's not great sonar. It only has a 4.7 kilometer ship detection. So not a great sonar. And it doesn't seem to last that long. I think it's a minute and a half, but it doesn't feel like it. We got three battleships, a Hawk, an Iowa. What was the third battleship that was over here? And there's an Azuma here, a super cruiser, so we're going to have to be on our game here. Uh-oh. There's the Hawk shooting at us. Oh, it's a Bismarck. I'm not particularly worried about the Bismarck. And the Hawk is shooting HE, so that tells me that guy doesn't know what the hell he's doing. Fire. And he's sitting broadside, which also tells me he doesn't know what the hell he's doing. So let's hope that we get an accurate salvo for once. Oh, I hate it! I hate it so f***ing much! God, I hate it so much! I hate it, I hate it, I hate it! <laughs> There's nothing worse than pulling the trigger and watching one gun go off because the game is like, Screw you! You didn't double tap the trigger fast enough! And we didn't even hit the target. And my guns are made out of toilet paper. I got wet noodles over here I'm throwing at the enemy. God dang it. Come on, game! What was that? I ain't gonna lie, I kinda wish our battleship or our carrier would come over and support this side of the map. So that was a good hit. I'll take that. <gasps> oh no! Ouch! Okay, we're fine. We're actually fine. That that didn't hurt nearly as bad as I thought it was going to. Screw you, Lapont! There's a Lapanto here too! Dude, we got every battleship on their team on this side of the map, and the freaking carrier is, like, running on the other side. Hey, would you like to come over here and help? Please help me. <laughs> help me. And then this guy's just sitting here broadside to Bismarck getting his ass whooped. I need help. Battleship carrier, please. Help. <laughs> I need some support. Oh, lordy. Oh, this is not good. We've lost three people on our team, and all of their hard hitters are over here on this side of the map. How is that humanly possible? Make that four people on our team. The enemy team has taken the lead. This is sadness, man. This is so sadness. Fire. 
is so sadness. How am I gonna close this? Is what this is the problem with the ship? Like, how am I supposed to close the distance when there is this many fucking battleships toe to toe, and my team's all dead, and not a single person is trying to help me on this side? Like, there is nothing I can do in this situation. I don't have the firepower to be able to deal with this many battleships. Unless they're absolute morons and they decide to come at me. But if, right now I'm expecting the Saipan to like divert his attention to come murder me because I'm all by myself in a wannabe German. But the only chance that I, in hell that I have... Oh, and there he comes. <laughs> I told you. I told you. what I tell you? Only chance in hell that I have is that these battleships are god dang morons. hoping that he's got a bad angle and I can use the island here. I'll maybe only take one of these. Knocks my engine, of course. Engine okay, he's gonna double back and, and slaughter me. Probably get a flood this time because I can't move. Alright, let's go ahead and hit that preemptively. Get our heal going. That is a bold strategy, Mr. Hawk. You know how I said this had decent AA? We've only shot down three of these planes. <laughs> I'm starting to rethink whether or not this is actually decent AA. Iowa knows that he's about to get torped, but there's not really anything he can do about it. Dude, this is just death. Hopefully I can kill him before he gets reloaded. Oh my god, these torps do nothing! These torps are so fucking, like, unimpressive. Like, they just are. They're fast as hell, but they're those fucking pan-European garbage-ass torps that don't do any damage, man. God dang, man. You just don't have any hope. I know fucking A-Rob posted a video saying this thing is cracked, but he's on crack. This thing is about the most unremarkable ship on the planet. Look at these torpedoes. Fucking 10,000 damage. Yeah, you get 16 of them, but nobody gives a shit. They don't fucking do anything. They don't fucking do anything. They don't cause a flood all the time. They are fast, so I overled them there at the end. I probably should have got them a little bit closer. And I don't know if I was launching widespreads. I wasn't paying attention. Probably shouldn't have, or should have checked that. But yeah, just they, they're just not. I don't know. I don't like it. Aaron can like this ship all he wants, but if you're playing against the same tier or higher, like this thing is absolutely just not fun. Like I said, if it had a hybrid commander like Hyde, it would probably be serviceable. But without it, it's just horrendous. The accuracy is so bad on the main guns. Uh, what was the other gun thing that we were going to... Oh, wait, we got to play Breast tonight, too. Don't don't forget. Because that got buffed. Where the hell is this thing? It's Japanese, right? Where the hell is the Japanese? Did Duncan get buffed? I think the Hawk got buffed. All right, let's play the Dyson. Now, we're going to do something. I'm going to show you guys the secondary build on the Dyson, and then we'll show the, the like, accuracy build. You guys already saw my video on the accuracy build. But we'll go full secondaries with Arpeggio Haruna here. You could go with the, uh, the, the like, pay, or the free-to-play commander if you want. Uh, but Haruna gives you a couple of extra perks that are kind of nice. Uh, with this, you get a uh, little less torpedo damage, which is kind of crazy considering you already have a 53%. So this essentially gives you a 56% or 59% torque reduction, um, which is kind of ridiculous. Uh, but incoming damage to your Citadel is kind of nice because this thing is a very thin ship. So despite it having a slight turtle back, the turtle back is not really noticeable because if they hit anywhere on the front or the rear of your ship, they're going to go through and skip your turtle back and slap you. Uh, but we are running um, Franz von Hipper with Her Henrique Fernandez. So we've got maximum secondaries here, and then we will throw on the... Uh, secondary skills. Alright, 
All right. So with that, our secondary should go out to like 10.2 kilometers, I think. Or maybe it's 11.2. 11.1. Okay. So 11.1 kilometer secondaries, but you'll see why I don't necessarily go for this, this build. Uh, because it completely takes away the one thing that this ship is absolutely cracked at. We do have to throw on our enhanced secondary targeting booster. Uh, which is a special version. So it increases your battery or your secondary battery by 150%, your secondary battery dispersion by 60%, lasts 25 seconds and reloads in 90, but you get five of them as well. So you get to use these a lot. But again, it, it suffers from the same problem that you have with the other ship that we just played in that it's kind of difficult to close in without just getting yeeted. Um, it is kind of nice because you get to go really fast for a... Uh, a battle cruiser i mean this thing can get over 40 knots if you and that's without building for it just the engine boost alone gets you over 40 knots if you're not running gyrating drill bits but uh overall it's it's kind of meh uh abdullah oh my god you guys are, are kicking my ass here hold hold that thought uh simplify thank you for becoming the newest member on the channel and by that i mean you've got a 12 month badge so thank you for over 12 months my dude World War II Dogfighter, thank you for two months. Appreciate you. Semper Fi coming in re-upping for 17 months. Okay, there it is. It was just separated. Thank you so much, my guy. Andrew Rarick dropping a $20 bomb with 20 gifted memberships. And Abdullah coming in with 21 months on the resub. Thank you guys so much, man. Get some goats in the chat for everybody tonight. And let's get that, get that like count over 100. We want to try to hit 200 today. I believe in you guys. All right, let's take this thing out. This is, this is going to be painful, man. I ain't going to lie. After playing this thing with a, a like an actual accuracy build, playing this thing with a reload or with a uh, secondary build is going to be rough, but uh, maybe we'll get a little bit lucky. The torp torp angles on this thing are terrible too. The front torp you can launch at a decent angle, like you, that's serviceable. That second torp tube is fucking awful. Even over the rear, it's not particularly good, and that's the problem with these stupid box launchers. Like they just don't have. You see them in there. They just don't have the firing angles that you need. So even kiting away, you don't have a particularly good firing angle. We're gonna try. We're gonna try to make some things happen here. Uh, looks like our battleship that spawned next to us is turning or er, reversing. The Carno's running away. So we do have decent concealment for a tier eight, the 13.6. And I'm not running Condo. If you ran Condo, which I think is the free-to-play uh, tank build for the Japanese, you'd have a better. Better concealment. And of course, I start to go forward and go around this guy. Now he's going to go forward and probably run into me. I don't want to get spotted here. One of their destroyers clearly at Alpha. The other one likely spawned mid, given the fact that ours spawned mid. So probably going to be a cruiser and a couple of battleships over here on this side, if I had to guess. Our destroyer went all the way around the edge. Interesting strategy. What are you? Summers? Okay. So he's going to flood that cap with torpedoes. He might catch the guy. Alright, so we have Frederick de Grossa here. That's not the scariest thing in the world. Okay. Their battleship that spawned mids come in this direction. I'm spotted by a fucking plane. How is there a plane anywhere near me? It has to be going around the island, right? Like, there has to be a cruiser that's gone around this island that has a plane so who would it be suja maybe but that would mean that would be the zf6 they would probably spawn mid so it's definitely gonna be schroeder no because that would have a secondary booster most likely maybe a battleship with a catapult no it's an anchor an anchor oh my god these people it's i guess it's not the worst strategy wait anchorage doesn't get radar right it's a smoke okay that makes more sense I was thinking it was a freaking radar, but I keep forgetting it's, it's not. Oh, please don't do it to me, Frederick. Don't do it to me, Frederick! I do kind of want to go over here and punish this anchorage, I ain't gonna lie. I know I could shoot these guys, but I'm trying not to get myself, like, countered by everybody. I want to make this push, get into this anchorage. I know there's likely going to be torpedoes coming, so we get to look forward to that. There's a Schroeder here, too. That's less than ideal. That Schroeder's gonna murder my torpedoes. Go ahead and shoot me, Anchorage. Man, 
Anchorage firing AP. I appreciate the the idea of it. But I'm expecting torpedoes from him as well. So we're going to go ahead and turn and kite here. I would love to close the distance, but Frederick is coming over here as well. We got the Atlantico over here. There's a lot of fucking secondaries that are going to murder my torpedoes. So I'm hoping I catch this guy here. My highest record in secondaries was with Flindre 749 hits and 17 fire. That set it's right there should be pretty decent. Range. Let's see, reversed. He did. Now, of course, they, they radar the guy. Now that I can't really do anything about it. All right, let's show off the secondaries with a full secondary build here. Look at the difference between my secondaries and what his secondaries are doing. There's my first fire, but his secondaries are doing damage. Mine aren't. And he's a cruiser. Like these just, they don't pin anything. They set fires, but they don't pin anything. They're not that useful. Meanwhile, he's over here with railgun secondaries that are actually pinning and doing damage and setting fires. I do got a perma fire going on him though. He's gonna keep bouncing off the fucking border like a little turd blossom that he is. Dude's matching his goddamn clan tag. I'll give him that. It's about the level of thinking I'd expect out of somebody. Keep your politics out of video games, for God's sakes. Oh, what's wrong, Mr. Schroeder? You're out of secondary range? You don't want none, no? No more? You don't want to play? All right, we're going to try to round the corner here. Um... Cole coming in, becoming the newest member on the channel, even though I know he's been a member for a little while. Uh, thank you so much, Cole. Abdullah coming in with the 25 SAR. Thank you so much. That's a lot of secondary hits, my dude. And then Cole with a $5 gifted bomb with uh, five gifted memberships. Thank you so much, man. Dude, the, the that's the other thing I forgot to mention. The turning radius on this thing is like a Frederick DeGrosa or GK, man. It is awful. Freaking awful, man. See if we can't uh, get up in here, maybe get some, some torpedoes off while they're in their smoke. Did they destroy my other one? No, it just don't have the fucking angle because this thing has the firing angles of a god. They must have got knocked out. And now he's going to turn all the way back out. Get him, secondaries. Dude, my entire team's dead. There goes the torp tube. See what I'm saying? Like, these torps are just not... They're not very good. Like, you just... They're, they're hard-hitting torps, but they die the first time anything with secondaries hits you. And that's the accuracy you can expect when you actually fire with a secondary build. But look at where the secondaries are hitting. The secondaries are literally hitting exactly where they have to to fucking kill your, your torpedoes. That's the problem with where these torps are located. Look, they've murdered two of the four. And if I give them the other side, they'll fucking murder those two. why i say this you don't rely on the torpedoes in the ship and you don't rely on the secondaries you're better off using the fucking accuracy build and just murdering everything at the end of the day it's battle cruiser accuracy on amagi guns and you can't go wrong with that ended up dying to that little fucking turd wobble if i had any teammates this might have went differently but my teammates were fucking terrible as usual so it is what it is only so much you can do 
Again, I don't recommend a secondary build on this. Don't fall for the bait. Don't worry about it. It may have a, a special enhanced secondary targeting booster, but it's a bait. Don't do it. Don't do it to yourself. Go for accuracy. Get those hyper accurate 410 millimeter guns and you will be happy. Promise. Promise. All right, let's take the breast out and see, uh, see what the buffed breast looks like. Buffed breast. All the breast. But thank you guys so much for all of the, the likes. Appreciate you guys. 240 of y'all in chat. Thank you guys so much. Don't forget to punch that like button if you're uh, having a good time. Tuxedo, how's it going? Julian, good to see you. I think I already called out uh, Skillator. How's it going? Wow's Legends, how's it going? Kiefer? Have you used Savetsky Soyuz? No. Headhunter, how's it going? Free to breast? What up, Tucker? So I forget all the all the things they did, but I'm pretty confident that they buffed the reload on these uh, French heavy cruisers, right? Or super cruisers. So they should be a little bit faster reload. I think it was like two or four seconds faster. So that coupled with the reload booster should be pretty nice. Especially when you get this thing into those crossfires that I like. Has anyone seen the reward ship for beating the space game mode? I didn't know there was a reward ship for beating the space game mode. I've heard that the space game mode's pretty fun, so I might have to check it out with a couple of people. I think last time I did it, it was... It's kind of like the Halloween game mode, I think. Only in space. I'm going to let this guy know that my plan is to go around here. So don't get yourself killed. Let's see if I can get a shot before, before I go behind the island, but I definitely want to get around that island. Because again, this thing does not do well in a head up head up engagement. We want to be on that crossfire, you know. Same thing I like to do with my Alaskas, my Stalingrads. Use the concealment to get to a crossfire and then use those battleship caliber guns to absolutely smash people. Dude, every time. Look accurate. Every time though. Decent hit. That guy led by about 10 miles too long. Turn the ship, dude. What is the rudder shift on this thing? Lord have mercy. I feel like I'm in a goddamn battleship. Dude, what the hell is my rudder shift? Yeah, I just fucked this whole turn up. Dude, that felt all kinds of awkward, man. I don't remember this thing having that bad of a rudder shift. I definitely cannot shoot over this island. Our destroyer's parking in a smoke screen waiting to get torped. He knows there's, there's somebody in the cap with him. Dude, what is my rudder shift? Does it tell me? No, it just tells me my freaking... Dude, I feel like the rudder shift is terrible all of a sudden. Maybe I put propulsion mod on it, took the steering gears off or something, so it just feels slower than it used to be? I don't know. Definitely feels like the rudder shift is forever. feel like I'm driving an Iowa class out of here. X3, how's it going? Christopher Hill, good to see you. Literally feel like I'm in a Stalingrad all of a sudden. for that shot on the Monarch. Should be able to get away with it. Not the best shot in the world. Would be nice to see where this... Look at the speed, though, man. We're doing 38 and a half knots. Oh, you little turd. Did you shoot at me? No, you just shot at somebody. 
All right, Z44 is about to go down. That leaves two of them. One of them's clearly, well, was in the cap. He just left the cap. I'm not spotted. So that leads me to believe he's going this direction. So I guess we'll get ready. Potentially getting yellow rushed by a destroyer here. We do have reload boosters. Just hold. Got a good spot here. This is the kind of spot you want to look for in this ship. Where you get those nice shots where you don't get shot back over the top of islands whenever possible. I am located, so I know the destroyer's here. Our destroyer's piddle farting around and, they're bat and our battleship's piddle farting around. Which is not ideal. I don't want to push into this. Okay, I did get detected that time, so their destroyer is moving out. Or I maybe drifted in a little bit too far. Not getting the best RNG in terms of hitting superstructure on the Monarch. And Schroeder is coming back. I'm not too worried about the Schroeder. But... Alright, this destroyer needs to go. Okay, there are other destroyers in the middle. So that leaves Fletcher. Alright, let's load up some HE and get ready to blast this destroyer. Because we know he's here. Come here, you little turd. He's right there by that island, I guarantee it. Plink, plink, monarch. Change course. Assuming this guy launched his torps as quickly as possible. Probably going to take some hits here from the two... Battleship caliber guns. Double back. Where are you going, Fletcher? Oh, shit! <laughs> Didn't see that coming. Swing and a miss, sunshine! Try again some other day. You ain't that guy. Gotta get up a lot earlier than that to get over on me. Back here, you little turd. I ain't done with you yet. Come back here, you little turd! Alright, we're gonna act like we're gonna shoot the Monarch here. That Schroeder is very over-angled. That Schroeder is very over-angled, so... We're gonna go for the Schroeder here. We should be able to dev strike him, potentially. Oh my god, he got angled enough. Alright, we are about to get loaded. I'm kind of thinking about going for the ram here. Damn it. The Schroeder got fucking angled. The dumb dumb behind me ended up getting himself killed. We're gonna hope I survive. I don't think I will, though. Yeah, that's unfortunate, man. The fucking destroyer. What is he doing? Like, what is this guy doing? Like, why are you fucking sitting there? I asked for help. We have the Fletcher on the run. You push up with me, and then you just fucking stop, and you sit there. Like, you could have went with me, and you'd have torped the piss out of those fucking guys. But yeah, I was hoping the goal there 
was to push making it look like I was going to shoot the fucking uh, Monarch because the Schroeder was broadside. And I know that I can de dev strike that fucking thing if it's broadside. But what ended up happening is the fucking turret traverse on this fucking ship is so goddamn slow that the guy had all day to turn in and fucking get angled before I got the shot on him. It's unfortunate. But this guy should have went out there with me. There was no fucking reason for this guy to sit back. Like, we have the cap advantage, we have the points advantage, you have the fucking ability to just stay out of range so you don't get spotted, and then you torp the piss out of these guys. Staying 12 fucking kilometers away from the bad guys is not where you want to be in a fucking destroyer. Sorry. That's on you. Oh, that's unfortunate. Dude, I was so hoping to catch that fucking Schroeder. Why did he have to, why did he have to be smart? What is the fucking turret traverse? I, I gotta look at a couple things. The turret traverse is terrible. 42 and a half seconds. That is fucking awful, man. You want to buff something about these ships? Fuck the reload. Give me a fucking turret that turns faster than that. Like, I only got two fucking turrets. Can I get them to move sometime this week? Like, that is fucking awful turret traverse. Awful. But Spartan, you're running main battery mod 3 and it, it debuffs your fucking turret traverse. No shit. But you don't have a fucking choice when your reload is seven years long in a cruiser for no fucking reason whatsoever. God dang, man. That's frustrating as shit. Yeah, I did take off the uh, t the steering gears for propulsion mod, apparently. So that's why my turret... Or my... My maneuverability was so bad. 13.2 second fucking rudder shift on a cruiser is fucking abysmal. That is literally Stalingrad levels of fucking abysmal. Yeah, I think I think I may go back to the uh, the old-fashioned steering gears on this, and then I don't know. I may have to adjust the front to try to get rid of some of that fucking turret traverse penalties. God, it's fucking awful when you have that much turret traverse, man. It's worse than battleships, man. Like there ain't a battleship in the game that has that bad a turret traverse except maybe Conqueror. This is a fucking cruiser for God's sakes with 305s. They act like this thing's got 40 or 406 millimeter guns on the bow of this cruiser. It's th oh, 330s, sorry. I thought it was 305s. But 330s. Still. It's like, what, 13 inch guns? I think. I think it's 13 inch. Frustrating. I know San Luis got buffed, but I couldn't care less about that. What else have we. What have we not played? I haven't played. Oh, yeah, we did. We played the Carl. We played that abysmal turd wobble. The cracked Carl. Like I said, the, the, the problem with these two ships is, like, if you go for a secondary build on these, which you don't really have a choice with this, you only get one fucking cruiser, or one commander, and it's pure secondaries and brawling. Pretty, pretty abysmal. You just can't close in 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 World of Warships Legends. Too many too many big guns that just shred you. And your teams are so bad, usually. Like, you just don't have that battle impact you need to really put your team ahead before they all die. Like, legitimately, they just all die. What do we got? Um, what do we want to play? We've played the new ships. I know I could play the, the Japanese cruisers, I think. I think I've got them. Or do I? I may not have them. Uh, no, I, d I definitely do have them. So I guess they did gift them to us. Do we bother? Like, what, what is this thing? I know it's a light cruiser. It's basically a Suja. 1,550 millimeter guns. What does a Suja have? I know they're 150s, but how many of them? 15. Hey, so it's, a, it's a fucking Suja. It's a Tech 3 Suja. Lord have mercy, the load times. Am I in Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts or what? Yeah, I, it is literally a Tech 3 Suja. That's, that's all this is. I'm sure it'll be fucking cracked. All you gotta do is put on uh, Azure Lane uh, Otago if you have it. it. Gets the real or gets the thing up to ridiculous HE. What's the HE? 
Only 14%? Huh? Yeah, so it's it's even got worse worse fire chance than the Suja for some reason. So weird. Got a weird build? Oh, well, we've got the fucking perk on. Plus eight percent. So this thing has a base of uh what six six percent base on hundred and fifty millimeter guns? Really? Why so bad? I bet it's because we don't have an upgrade. Hold that. Hold the thought. Hold it. We're not upgraded. That might help. Um. Yeah, I ain't, I ain't grinding that shit out. Let's go upgraded. I bet there's a fucking thing that adds fire chance. It has to be, right? Firing range. No? Does not add fire chance. Well, it's going to have a lower fire chance than I'd expect. It's only 2% less than the Suja, but... 2% adds up. I guess when you're throwing 15 rounds downrange, it doesn't really matter too much, but... Shouldn't need to go with this. Uh, what is our tra traversal on this? 13 and a half... Or six... Six fucking seconds?! Jesus! <laughs> These are fucking A8... Well, they are dual-purpose by the looks of them. They, they look like dual-purpose main guns. Good lord. All right, well, uh, we don't need that. Is there one for range? AA? What is the AA on this thing? Because I feel like a the accuracy on these things isn't needing to be buffed, most likely, because the Japanese cruisers in general have pretty good accuracy, so don't really need to do that. It's got... I say it's got decent AA, but... That's 25 millimeter, 25 millimeter, 100 mil. Not a lot, actually. Not a lot of damage there for the AA. So buffing it probably isn't going to help. So I guess... Okay. What the hell do I buff? Clearly not the secondaries. So I guess we do buff this. Gives us a little bit better uh, main battery dispersion. We definitely don't need to buff the turret traverse. And then for this, we definitely got to go with this. Because we got to be slowing down and speeding up throttle jockey and people. Uh, concealment. Uh, main battery is going to make our turret traverse a little bit worse, but how bad is it going to be? Go to eight seconds? <laughs> like, how bad is it actually going to get? It can't get that bad. Uh, so we'll go with this. Get that reload down. So what is it now? What, what we got out here? We got 17.7 kilometers of range, which isn't the greatest range, but we can put a flag on. That'll get that out a little bit further. 12.2 second reload. That's terrible for 150s, but you get 15 of them. Like, that's a fucking awful reload time. What's the fucking Suja's? It isn't that bad. Right? Nine seconds. So you got a three and a half second slower reload. Ugh. Man. Why would anybody choose this? <laughs> Just buy yourself a premium Suja. Isn't it... Is, isn't Suja one of the ones that you can buy in the store, too? Like, uh, Global XP? Or am I thinking of Otago? Maybe it's Otago. Oh, let's... Oh, wait. We got we got a thing for it? What is this? Fleet review. What is this camo? Is it nice? Is it nice? It's not bad. Kind of kind of spiffy. Eh. It's free. I'll take it. It's not a bad looking camo. All right. You guys, I'm sure, are just going to be thrilled about watching me be bad in a uh, Japanese cruiser. I'm sure it's got a terrible armor, too, so I'm sure this thing gets yeeted the first time somebody looks at it. Where is the Citadel? I think it's right, yeah, I was going to say, I'm pretty sure it's above the, the waterline. Yep. So if you go broadside in this thing, you're going back to port. You're not going to get overpinned, most likely. Eh, it's, it's not the thickest ship in the world. Maybe you get lucky, but I wouldn't count on it. Just don't get hit. That's probably your best bet. I do like the gold at the front over the black paint. That's pretty nice. Pretty nice. All right. Time for me to show you guys how to play the uh, Japanese cruisers badly. <laughs> Let's go. Pragmatic duck. 
How's it going? Appreciate you dropping in. Bill Dozer, good to see you. Legit, Xavier, good to see you guys. Godzilla's in the chat. Christina, thank you for dropping in. Shimanto has been fun so far. I mean, yeah, it's it's a tech tree version of the Suja that's slightly worse. I'll have to check to see if it's if the Suja is available for global. I can't remember. I think it's a Tago that's available. I think Suja is one that you can get out of a crate. A lot of cruisers have figures. Try to burn down fucking battleships, and what do I get? A whole lobby of cruisers. <laughs> that's all right, though. We got this. What's the worst that could happen? And, of course, they spawn me in the middle of the map, too. They're like, yeah, you, you definitely want to be right there in the middle for everybody to shoot. Concealment, as you'd expect, pretty good, 10.5. I don't know, man. I don't see the point. It is supposed to have torpedoes, right? What are the torpedoes? 14-kilometer torpedoes. Okay. That's a little spicier. And it looks like a quad launcher, so this thing probably gets, what, 16 torps? Yeah, that's, that's 16 torps going out to 14 kilometers. All right, that that makes a little bit, a little bit less cringe. So that that's its that's its thing, right? So slightly worse than the Suja main gun wise, but with those sneaky torpedoes that are going to be sneaking up on people. Got it. Got it. Now I understand. What up, paramedic Hayden? How's it going? West Virginia is better than Arizona. Not a chance. <laughs> Not even close. West Virginia is good ship, but it does not have the armor that the Arizona does. And the guns are way too unreliable. When you need them most, the West Virginia will let you down. Like, that's just how it goes, right? Thank God this guy put his plane up right at the beginning of the match. Okay. Rook is running away. I'm going to wait and see what this Bismarck gets into, and then we'll we'll choose what we want to do from there. I mean, 14% fire chance on a ship that's going to be landing majority of the eight, of the 15 shells. Should be a fire or double fire every single time you fire, pretty much. Oh, look, it's a Veneto. Perfect. I didn't look at the rudder shift, so no idea how that's going to turn out. But thank God this guy uh, smoked up, so he doesn't get to see me anymore. Wouldn't want him shooting at me. Fire? Double fire? He slowed down. Okay. Fair enough. Not quite in range, but I'll throw him out there just in case. You never know. Are those... Those are only triple launchers. Ah, it's only triple launchers. I thought it was quads. Still. 12 torpedoes. Reaching out to 14 kilometers. Dude, we got all the DPM on this side, too. So we got a Veneto that's sneaky. We've got all of the DPM you could ever ask for. It it's gonna be an like interesting one. You built and waddle the light cruisers that kept torping your other Japanese ships low. Reload time. Gonna take a minute on these torps as well. But now we should be able to start DPMing the shit out of this guy. He's already used the smoke screen. He's not gonna be able to slow down and dodge this time. Got a fire on the Cleveland in the background. Very nice. I don't know how that man's hacking. He clearly should have been on fire there. Guy's clearly hacking. Still not on fire. I think he just damaged Gonzo. I'll give him a break there. Are the torps on point? Get him! Don't run out. Don't run out. Ah, there's the perma flood. Let's go. You're fucked. This guy is hacking, though. He is not taking a single fire from me. Clearly hacking. But thanks, Jessica, for the $5. How is he not burning? <laughs> what the hell, man? I want this guy's RNG. Lord have mercy. man needs to be burning plus the flood he ought to be getting close to getting his damage control back and i want him dead before that of course they kill him the moment i go to shoot him and finish him we got a lot of damage off of him though we'll take that now it's time to go pick on some of these dpm cruisers we're also pretty sneaky in terms of the plane where's the plane detection 
6.6 kilometers. Yeah, like we're we're very sneaky from planes too. I like it. Oh my Lanta. The reason I got my plane up right now is because if they fire their guns, they, they should get detected. They should be well within range of being shot. There's a lot of DPM I'm driving into, though. This is a very dangerous, dangerous thing. But our linen is also driving straight into it, which is not an ideal. That's two Clevelands and a uh, Shimanto. Shimanto's out of range. What is our range? Oof. Dude, we do not have the DPM to deal with fucking two Clevelands. I can guarantee you that. I can guarantee you that. Anything special with the rear turrets? Oh, 360 degree rear turrets. That's nice. All right. So we can keep that DPM on target. That's that's a good thing. There's another fire. I, I like how we can set a fucking cruiser on fire every time we hit it, but couldn't set the fucking little turd blossom Italian battleship on fire at all. That should have been my kill. Oh, these guys are being little turds, man. At least they don't seem to know what the fuck they're doing, so there's that. This linen is just going all up in here. He's like, I don't care about your DPM. I'll fuck you up. Oh my god, look at the reload. I'm like, oh, there's a cruiser. I'm gonna have AP ready to go. I don't know why I did that. It's, I know it's a fucking Cleveland. Hello, Cleveland! Oh my god, that was pathetic. The torp angles on this are fantastic, though. I will say that. Like, the torp angles are fucking great. Of course, I get hit. Double fire. Dude, these turrets are fucking insane. After, especially after playing the breast. Back to back double fires. That is the game telling me to go fuck myself. That is legitimately the game telling me to go fuck myself. Also, what was our sonar? Like, I feel like the sonar ran out very quickly. Over pins. He's over angle, but he's not enough that I can feel comfortable going through the belt here. Secondaries are decent. I might be dead, though, if he still has AP loaded. God dang it. Die! Fuck! Ah, I should have loaded AP. Dude, the fucking DPM sucks on this, though. Ain't gonna lie. DPM kind of sucks. I would have expected those torps to do a little bit more damage, but... Hmm, am I going to survive long enough to get another heal off? Probably. Yeah, 
Yeah, this has got a short duration fucking one minute second or one minute fucking sonar. Come on, give me the fire. Thank you. Gets the fire. God dang it. Quick! Five seconds, dude. dude. We were so close to getting another one. Yeah. DPM wise, this ship sucks. But not a bad first game, everything considered. Like that fight with that fucking Cleveland, though. I, I think you want to hold on to your torpedoes in that. I was trying to use the torps early because he was on a reload. Only landed two of them. But not a bad first result. Again, all cruiser game. Like if we had battleships, that, that would easily be a much better game. What the hell's going on with my freaking... Headset. Hold the thought. Yeah, unplug and plug it back in. Uh, Christopher Hill, thank you for the 10 gifted memberships, my dude. Appreciate you. All right. I don't know what was going on. Something in the menu there. Like, as soon as I came back to the port, it fixed itself. But, like, when I was in the menu, I was only getting audio out of one ear. I don't know if that's something they broke when they updated or what. Holy shit. See what I mean about the pop-ups? Does this not get old? Like, I hate those pop-ups, man. Do we need a pop-up for everything? Really, game? Like, I get it. I don't think we need a pop-up there. All right. Let's 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 get away from uh, the little turd waffles for a moment. Overall, I don't think it's going to be a bad ship. Again, with battleships, I think it'll be much better for fire starting and obviously torpedoes. Those long-range torpedoes are going to catch a lot of people off guard at Tier 7. Because um, people just aren't used to seeing that long a range very often. So 14-kilometer torpedoes at Tier 7, pretty pretty nasty. And they're pretty hard-hitting torpedoes. So And a good torp angles, too. Like you don't have to give yourself up. You don't have to give yourself up. The AP doesn't seem to be the greatest. We didn't have the best angle to shoot the... Uh, the Cleveland, but AP doesn't seem that great, which is on par with most of the Japanese cruisers. Some of the Japanese heavy cruisers have decent a AP, but for the most part, Japanese AP for the cruisers are pretty, pretty terrible. You're just better off shooting HE most of the time. What do we want to play? Do we, do we go into our regular ships for a little bit? Let's bring out the good old fashioned Iowa. Where are you at? Watch four destroyers right out the gate what up cdf how's it going you want the tone i mean we already have essentially the tone don't we but now what the tier 8 uh heavy cruiser is isn't it essentially a tone i could be wrong that line isn't about setting fires i think it is <laughs> I mean, it's obviously about torpedoes as well, but, but I mean, it's a Japanese cruiser. It's going to be a fire starter because God knows you can't brawl with it, especially with that DPM. DPM is terrible for a cruiser, for a light cruiser, especially like that. That DPM is worse than a, a heavy cruiser to put it in perspective. I say DPM. What I mean is the reload is worse than a heavy cruiser. It's, it's got 15 guns, so you're still going to have a pretty decent DPM, but the reload is terrible. So in a 1v1 like that, especially against something like a Cleveland, like you're at such a huge disadvantage and when it comes to reloading. Alright, I think I'm going to go to the right. There's two battleships on the left. Hopefully this battleship that spawned with me goes left. We're top tier. I did say it was going to be like four destroyers. It ended up being six destroyers, so... 
fun. I had a carrier for good measure, but I'm in an American battleship, so I shouldn't care too much about the carrier. My Iowa doesn't care about your carrier's feelings, okay? All your planes are belong to me. Stay away. Ah, carrier's on the other side. We're good. We're good. We won't get detected by those anytime soon. But there are three destroyers, so I'm likely to be detected any moment from the middle. Our destroyer went into the Bravo cap with the other destroyer, with the carrier that is known for countering destroyers pretty effectively. See how that works out. Putting all of our destroyers into a cap that's going to be contested is kind of annoying. Our North Carolina is choosing to go that way too, so that's good. Enemy force on the horizon. Okay, Jaeger's here. Z-23 is probably dead. No? I can't help him. Oh, of course. Three fucking destroyers. I run into two of these bastards on my side of the fucking map. Why do I always get so lucky? One's got radar, the other's got fucking 16 goddamn torpedoes with reload booster. I hope this Z doesn't get himself killed, because I need him. Ooh, that's spicy, though. That was a spicy hit on the Colorado. Hi, Colorado! Hope you're having fun! I wish the battleship that was here would actually shoot at the destroyers. I haven't seen it. I haven't heard him fire his guns yet. Alright, now we should potentially be able to shoot. We'll give it a shot. Nope, can't shoot him. USS Black. Fuck! Every god dang time! <laughs> it's like they know when I'm about to shoot and then they immediately let the guy fucking disappear. Every time. All right, I'm, ex I'm assuming the black is coming in to try to radar this guy. I haven't been spotted from these guys yet. All right, I mean, I shot at the Colorado, but I haven't been spotted here. Vanguard is AFK, so we're not going to worry about him. I want to try to help this Z with these torpedo boats. Get back. Returning to ship. Come on, brother man. Oh, that was a wasted spotter plane. And now he's going to run, isn't he? I told him to get back when I was trying to tell him that I needed intelligence data. Our planes are coming this direction. Yeah, this guy's AFK. I'm not worried about him. Okay, Jaeger's out of play. Fuck it. If that's the only thing I'm going to get to shoot at, I might as well take it. I'm wasting my fucking time. Here with my thumb up my ass. Our destroyer obviously has no intention of trying to spot. So, get the guns rotating to the right. See if we can't affect these guys. Carrier's doing his job. Too bad we don't have a freaking destroyer there that can help him. At least the battleship behind me is starting to use his guns. That was a good hit into the superstructure. I haven't been spotted in a moment, so I should be able to sneak up on these guys, but I need... Requesting fire support. Torpedoes direct front. Problem is this Vanguard's going to spot me because he's just fucking sitting here Torpedoes AFK. Dead ahead. Torpedoes direct front. Okay, Jaeger's running. I'm worried about the crossfire at this point, too. Those guys should be getting in range to shoot me. But I need intelligence data, for the love of God, you fucker! Why are you hiding behind me? You've got sonar, you've got guns, you've got fast reloading torpedoes. Why the fuck are you sitting behind me? Like, I'm here to help you. Lord have mercy, please wake the fuck up. I'm gonna get torpedoed into fucking oblivion because of this guy. Did they lose the black? They did. Okay, so it's just the Jaeger that's here. So there's only 16 torpedoes to worry about. We got the battleship going around the edge. 
But I'm assuming this guy's just gonna sit here and try to fucking hit me with 16 torpedoes as soon as I come around this corner. Yeah. Torpedoes direct front. All right, let's make ourselves skinny. We also Torpedo know that he's got a reload dead booster, dead. so we're gonna hold on to the uh, torpedo support. Damage control. We're both below the waterline. We're flooding quickly. Torpedoes dead ahead. Torpedoes. Dead ahead. You little fucking bastard. Alright, should be one more set, right? Or did he not get it off? I love how this little fucker is full fucking health. He's the one with fucking good guns and fucking sonar and all the things to counter the little bastard. And all he did was wait till the guy was low health and then go fucking kill him. What a waste. And we've lost half our fucking team because they're all morons. So I just traded a lot of fucking hit points for no reason. And now I've got to fight everybody else on their fucking team. Again, th this guy could have moved in and fucking murdered those guys. Like, the USS Black went down to our carrier relatively soon. I'm just trying to get this guy gone so that I don't have to worry about him fucking having my broadside. I've got the AA, so I'm not too worried about the carrier. I'm going to try to double back and get into the, the circle here try to limit who can shoot me, but I gotta be careful going full broadside to this Colorado, because my luck, he's gonna get the best salvo of his god dang life. Okay, doesn't get the fire, that's good. what I tell you? He's gonna get the best fucking salvo of his god dang life. Beautiful shot. Their destroyer is an alpha, so our battle or our carrier should be able to counter that. I just gotta try to protect myself as best I can and limit who can shoot us. We got a bunch of smaller, smaller targets that it should be relatively easy. Go ahead and damage con. Oi, hold that thought. I doubt it, but I gotta try. Yeah, he's just gonna turn. I had to try. What is this battleship behind me, by the way? What the fuck is this guy? It's a fucking North Carolina. What are you doing, my guy? Get your ass into a fight. And, of course, the Z-23. The guy that literally doesn't have to fucking do anything except stay out of range and shoot fucking torpedoes gets himself killed. He wasn't spotted by the planes. He just fucking sat there firing his guns at these guys and got himself fucking murdered. Ah, oh, lordy. Maybe he was killed by the planes. Maybe, maybe they did detect him. Get over here, you fucker! I need you close. Let's overlap our AA so these fucking planes can leave us the fuck alone. Don't you dare give him a fucking flood right now. I swear to God, game. Don't you fucking do this to me. Breaks my fucking steering. Oh my God, dude. I can't, I can't catch a break, man. This, this fucking North Carolina is just going to stay exactly where he has to to do absolutely nothing when it comes to helping shoot down fucking planes. I want to shoot these fucking Ashitakas, but I know what's going to happen. I think we just got to go for it at this point sure that fucking destroyer is on his way to come murder me. Should be able to overmatch the bow on this fucker. We don't kill him. Do I get angled enough? Ends in five uh, kind of. Ashitaka, I think it's torpedoes. So I don't want to sit here. North Carolina's dying. 
Oh my god, he gets away with it again. Maybe the Ashitaka doesn't get torps. Thought he did. I am worried about this Colorado here. I don't really have a choice. Fun is being had. That was probably about as good as that could have ended. Alright, let's not over angle to the Ashitaka. Pray to God that we get some good RNG here. I think I might be dead though. I'm alive! Rear gun might get loaded in time. I'm pretty sure I'm dead from the Colorado though. Yeah. Uh, we tried, man. Gotta get some teammates. You gotta get some teammates, man. At the end of the day, it doesn't matter if you're fucking the greatest player on the planet. If your teammates are fucking garbage, you're not gonna enjoy yourself. Our destroyer was a fucking dum dum. He captured the base and then sat in the back and watched the entire thing, so I ended up taking a little too much damage from the Jaeger. But, is what it is. You, you need that guy to actually be useful instead of sitting behind you, and then him, him getting himself killed was fucking uncalled for. You, you gotta stay the fuck out of there and get yourself useful man despite this guy eh, he didn't get the kill on the fucking black who killed the black was it our destroyer no because where the fuck is he oh z23 yeah so he must have got the kill on the black maybe he dev struck him it says he got a dev strike so maybe he caught him with a torpedo or something but yeah, I, I like how it gives him top of the leaderboard. All he did was capture a base. He killed one, well, he killed both the destroyers, but I did all the damage to Jaeger. There was no reason for him to sit back. Like, he could have been so much more fucking aggressive, especially when you see an Iowa-class battleship pushing in. Like, why the fuck are you sitting in the back with a Z-23? Like, that thing is so good to be sitting in the back watching your fucking teammates try to do everything. Especially when you got a long-range fucking sonar. You've got guns that are fantastic. You've got fast reloading torpedoes. He could have been torping the fucking Vanguard while I was fucking fighting the Jaeger. Or helping fight the Jaeger. Like, it's just uncalled for. People wonder why they lose. And then sending both of our destroyers on the left flank into the cap to where the, the carrier could just fucking neuter them. Also, bad idea. Just a bunch of bad decisions by our team. Do everything we can to carry, but... Only so much you can do. Only so much you can do. I know the Hawk just got buffed. I don't remember what they buffed, though. Was it just the reload that they buffed? I can't remember. It's still got the same armor. Still got the same armor. Exposed Citadel. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Very exposed Citadel. Let's try the hawk. What up, Mr. Monkey? How's it going? Troy? Love Life? How's it going? Play the new battleships? I played them already a couple of times. Uh, I've got a video up on the um, the Forge battleship, if you guys are interested. And then I'll try to get a video tonight in the, um, the German, or sorry, not German, Pan-European battleship. But, uh, we'll probably play him again. Oh, Sean's in here. Implaceable's here. Oh, it's Hamad, dude. Really, guys? <laughs> really, guys? Come on, man. At least I got defensive AA to help me a little bit. Fucking Atlantico. That's terrifying. Can't remember. I think this thing has... Yeah, this thing doesn't have the normal underwater torps. It's got the ones that are, like, center... It's not the Duncan. Duncan has the underwater torps that go over the bow. Play the Italian. Oh, yeah, that's right. The Italian DDs got buffed. We might have to check them out. I don't think the buff is going to matter. I think they're still going to be terrible, but we'll try. We'll try a couple of them. They didn't get a huge buff. They got like a one second reload buff, didn't they? Maybe it was one and a half seconds. It's 
spotted by planes. Shocker, the fucking carrier spawns right in front of me. And so does this fucking Atlantico. Good hit on the North Carolina, though. I didn't see what that other battleship was. So we got three battleships on this side of the map, plus the carrier to worry about. Don't have the range, unfortunately. Beautiful. Okay, the planes are going to the other side. Okay, it's actually a cruiser. What cruiser? Balti. Right. Can't remember if we got 16 or 17 inch guns yet, or if we've got the 15 inch guns still at tier 7. Guess we can find out. Okay, definitely got the upgraded guns. Been a while since I played the Hawk. I don't remember all the things about it. Oh, uh, I, I used my de defensive AA. I thought he was coming towards me. He's actually... Ah, uh, rear turrets are going to make it. Front turrets not. That was a wasted defensive AA, unfortunately. I thought he was coming for me. Okay, we might actually still get some use out of it. Flies straight into the defensive AA. Does not give a damn. We shot one plane down. People wonder why fucking carriers are considered fucking broken. Like, even with defensive AA gone, he just flew right over me, dropped his bombs, and only lost three planes in the process. Alright. Uh, we gotta be careful. They're, our destroyer's okay. Don't want to go too crazy here, because Atlantico, North Carolina, both overmatch us. I'm also radared here, so that means our destroyer's radared, most likely. I don't really feel like making this push into a Balti and two fucking battleships that overmatch us, but I don't feel like I have much of a choice, because we're the only one on this side, and our team is kind of, like playing really passively. Destroyer didn't get killed, so that's that's good news. Hopefully the guy on our left doesn't have a shot on us. I don't think he does. I think the island's in the way, but... Kind of want to keep some pressure on these guys without getting ourselves in trouble. Also, the carrier spawned on the other side. That's a change. Usually the carrier spawns on this side of the map. That explains why he was on the other side at the beginning. Wish I had spotting from either a carrier or a destroyer. It's a bold strategy, Mr. Balti. How does he go dark? Is it our rear? Our team has it must be our rear that's uh. Oh, that's the Atlantico out there too. That's less than ideal. I got an idea. This is a terrible idea. Don't do it. But since he is kind of beached, activated. Well, it's only two torps. Oh, that's sadness. I thought that was going to be like six torpedoes for some reason. Get rid of this balti. That'll free up our destroyer. I'm terrified of this North Carolina right now. Okay, Balti's down. Atlantico's running, which is expected, but not ideal. Fire. Probably using this a little bit prematurely here. But I am chasing this guy right to our, our destroyer, so I'm hoping the destroyer has some torpedoes for the little turd. Put that out. See if we can't help our destroyer, because I don't know if he has torps. Hoping that I can get around this corner before the Atlantico does, but 
We've got those torps heading in his direction, Problem just solved, in case. Sir. This guy's guns aren't even facing us, and he's almost dead, so actually, probably behoove us to go for the uh, Atlantico. And then if we get a chance to kill the North Carolina, we'll do it. Okay, don't need to. Those torps look absolutely fucking beautiful. Those are gonna sting, sunshine. Objects and torpedoes hit harder than they appear. Bonk, bonk. Also, sitting broadside to me is a bad idea. <laughs> Let's go. I'm so glad this guy has no idea what he's doing in this Atlantico. Oh my god, we left him alive. Come on, game. Come on, game. Secondaries. Well, you got the fire. Okay, we're good. Enemy battleship sunk. We got two more heals, so we'll be fine. Get rid of this double fire in ten seconds. I could have swore that the, the Atlantico overmatched us. Was he just shooting our belt? Like, he should have been doing more damage than that. He definitely should have done more damage than that. Must have just shot our belt. It looks like he was hitting the belt right at the, the front turrets instead of shooting the bow. I think it's just inexperience on his part. Problem solved, sir. We did our job. We did what we got to do. Not a bad game. What up, Bartleby? How's it going? Dyson is kind of bad? No. Dyson's very good at just... You don't get baited into using the secondaries. I know it's got a, a special secondary booster. I know it's got longer range secondaries. Don't get you baited. Go for the accuracy build, and I promise you, you'll enjoy it a lot more. It's got insane accuracy on the, the same 410 millimeter guns that the Yamagi and everybody gets that are really, really nasty. Trust me. Don't get you baited. There's a reason that they give you all that fancy stuff. They want you to, they want you to run a secondary build and just be a fucking damage sponge for everybody. Don't do it. Don't do it, man. I promise. You, if you run an accuracy build on that thing, you'll 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 change your tune. I know it's got all the little all the little bells and whistles to make it better as a secondary brawler, but as we showed in the first first uh, battle, like secondaries are not the way. They don't pin anything because they're too small a caliber, so all they are are fire starters. Your torpedoes get knocked out very easily because they're in the perfect position for secondaries to yeet. So stay at range. Use your fucking AP. Snipe the, make this thing a sniper. I promise you'll like it a lot more. Speaking of, let's showcase it, shall we? I swore I had a main battery mod. Either way, let's get it. So, yes, our secondaries only reach out to 7.1 now. Um, we are going to throw Catapult Fighter on here as well because that gets us Arthas. Uh, you're still going to be decently fast. Even even with the, um, the gyrating drill bits on, you're still going to be like 37 and a half knots, something like that, when you uh, use your engine boost so still plenty fast decently sneaky let's show it you thought it had 150s no they're 140s um yeah so you, you've got 140 millimeter secondaries which are your big secondaries you got 127 so these they're fast firing guns they're they're there for fire chance they don't really pin anything it's, it's really unfortunate. Even a cruiser will sit there and shatter your AG. So, we saw that with the Schroeder earlier when we were fighting. Like they, they, they look impressive, but they're really not. Unless, of course, a destroyer decides to come up and YOLO you. In which case, wouldn't have mattered. Looks like something you would make in UAD. Kinda. Kinda. Um, the, the problem with this, this design is it's World War I design. So they still hadn't learned the lesson of putting a bunch of flammable shit in the middle of the ship is a bad idea. <laughs> I don't know who come up with that, that strategy. It's probably because it's kind of heavy, so having it at the back, you've got to adjust your weight distribution a little bit. 
but it's definitely a terrible idea to put a bunch of flammable aviation fuel and planes and shit right in the center by the superstructure. It's a terrible idea. <laughs> Especially if you're planning on getting shot at. What up, Snow? How's it going? Jonathan, good to see you. Eris, good to see you. Mr. Monkey, Cletus. Yeah, if, if they were still shooting AP, maybe it wouldn't be so bad. Like, if this thing had the AP secondaries that we used to have on the Japanese battleships, I think it would be much better. But, uh, unfortunately, we don't. Now, we do have an engine boost, so that means opening this edge is, is open for business. So I might go ahead and try that. I don't go around this island very often, but when you have an engine boost and you're capable of doing, like, 37 knots on a battleship, it's kind of... Kind of something that you have in your your potential. We'll see. There's no destroyer here either. So we have a Drake in Alaska. So we're bottom tier. They have Schroeder, Tulsa, Stalingrad, Mino, Musashi, Yama, Kerfers, Konk, Ohio. The, the general stuff. Nothing too crazy to worry about, hopefully. Only thing that we're really worried about there is Musashi and Yama. Definitely not worried about the GK. Or at least not really. Okay, we're still spotted, so there's somebody still over this direction. And it's the Yama. God dang it. Of course it is. And that looks pretty fucking accurate, too. I didn't even Citadel. It's just penetrations. That's... That's brutal, man. Oh, this fucking rudder ship. Jesus God. This is one of, this is one of the only ships that I think the Grosser Kerfers can outturn in a gunfight. We're almost in range to torp this guy, though. Unfortunately, it looks like he's turning out now. If he charges us, I like our odds. If he stays at range, we're in trouble. Because I definitely cannot go around that corner and fight that Yama. That Yama will tear me up uh, before I get a chance to yeet him. We might get a cheeky shot since he's pushing forward. We might get a cheeky shot. What is that? Oh, fucking course it is. And it's Sean, too. Of course it is. Can you guys stay the fuck out of my games, please? Please. I try to be nice. I really do. Uh, you guys you guys already know, man. Update days are rough enough. We don't need, we don't need stream snipers, too. All right, Sean? Please. I'm sure it's complete coincidence that you just happen to spawn in in my lobby in two games in a row, and then you're coming right for me. They've already lost two cruisers, though. Kind of funny. Oh, damn. Wish I'd have seen that. Wait, that's an SE-43. I must kill. Also, that was a beautiful shot on that fucking... <gasps> Help! Okay, we're fine. What we can't afford is to use our torpedoes too early. So we're gonna turn in. Like I said, the front turret or the front torps are definitely. Oh, he's a propulsion mod guy too. Hundred percent. God dang it! Can't get the fucking torps on angle because he's turning in. Alright, should be able to hit them with the torps here, with the front ones anyway. I can't open up and get the rear turrets, or rear torps on them. Dude, why do these feel so bad all of a sudden? I am giving way too much angle here. This guy is going to yeet me before I get these fucking torps sent at him. Dude, I can't fuck. He's charging forward faster than I can fucking- I'm going to die. <laughs> I'm just going to get fucking killed is what's going to happen. Dude is literally charging forward faster than I can get the angle to fucking launch. Because the fucking turning is so bad in this ship. Alright, let's speed forward. At this angle, we should be okay from him. Unless he goes through the bow side plating. Oh, 
Knocked one of his turrets. That's kind of clutch. Now he's dead. Beautiful. Oh, okay. The disaster averted. Yeah, this turning in this ship is so fucking bad, man. That's why I say this is not a secondary battleship at all. And you do not want to use this thing for secondaries. Because it just cannot brawl, man. It's too slow to turn. Just, just not good. Torpedoes, nasty. If you get to use them. But up close, you saw what they're, they're capable of up close. Like, it's so hard to... Wait, what? Oh, shit. You little bitch. Take that. Tulsa shouldn't get torpedoes? Dude, what is going on with my headset? Okay, Yama is still going that direction. Much as I would love to get a shot at that Yama. See the difference between having the, the like, actual accuracy build and using the secondaries? Like, it's night and day, dude. I'm telling you. If you, want, if you want to have fun in this ship, use the accuracy. Now, obviously, we, we kind of went toe-to-toe -to -toe with a GK, so that's not an ideal scenario, but you got to do what you got to do sometimes. Pull out here and slap this guy for being in the uh, SC-43 clan. Hello, sunshine! Ooh, that could have been better. I'll be real honest, that wasn't... That was not very impressive. I mean, it, he was kind of angled, but I thought I'd get a better penetration than that. Oh, we are going to send you to the Shadow Realm, Sunshine. You cannot be that broadside to me. Okay, he's turning out. Will he get turned out enough in time? It looks like he might. Yeah. Unfortunate. Unfortunate, but we should be able to kill him pretty quickly here. Uh, we don't have a lot of hit points, so we got to be careful of this Yaba as well. I mean, we've got the points lead. We don't have to do anything crazy. Come on, you little turd. You gonna fire your guns and show me where you're at so I can kill you? Or are you gonna wait for your Yama to come forward and try to murder me? I have a feeling I know the answer. I have a feeling I know the answer. Do we go for it? Do we go for the home run? Oh, hold it. Hold it. Okay, let's... Fine. <laughs> I'll take that 20% extra damage. All right. Now, where it, plane show me where the Yama is. Okay. Fair enough. Come on, you turn. Get turned. Oh, these torp angles are going to be the death of me. Especially with this rudder shift. Oh, shit. Come on, Yama, you know you want it. Look at me, all broadside. Oh, he's coming. He He's 100% coming. I'll go ahead and throw those out now. And just because we can... Turn the ship, you fucking turn! One thing's for sure, if we fuck this up, he's gonna kill us. He still might kill us. I thought I could snipe him, but the front guns couldn't clear. It was just the rear guns. Sadness. Oh, well. We did it. That was still a good game. That was 179,000. So that's two games that I've played with an accuracy build, and in both games I've scored 170,000 plus. So accuracy is definitely the way to go on this thing. It's got very good accuracy. I know we didn't really showcase the accuracy too much there, but I'm telling you, this is, this is the way to go if you want to play this ship. 
the torpedoes are more area denial. If you have to use them, you've got them. But you saw how hard they are to torp at, at close range. They're just terrible torp angles coupled with the fact that the ship cannot turn. I mean, look at this fucking turning radius, dude. Look at this fucking turning radius. 1,100 meters. To put that in perspective, let's go look at the fucking GK. Where's the GK? Yeah, it's literally worse than a GK's turning circle. The rudder shift is better than a GK, so you can kind of wiggle a little bit better than a GK, but the overall turning circle is worse, which is sad. Why did they make the torpedo launch so muffled? I'm not sure. I didn't, I didn't notice, I'll be honest. I wasn't paying attention. I, I really wasn't paying attention. Um... Let me see if I missed anything. Midnight, thank you for the 12 months. Appreciate you, my guy. Nukta, thank you for 15 or 16, 16 months. Appreciate you guys. Get some goats in the chat for those guys. Also, 230 people watching. Can we get to 200 likes? I appreciate you guys. <sighs> oh, you know I got to play the Duncan. I know they didn't buff this ship, but I, I still want to play it because Duncan. It's longer than a GK? I don't think it's longer, actually. I know it's got a, a worse turning circle, but I don't think it's longer than the GK. As far as I know, the GK is the longest ship in the game. Then again, the, the what was that fucking German, the Russian-German looking thing? God, I can't think of it. What What is the German battleship that looks like a Russian? Anult. Anult. That one. That might be longer. Because it's got a lot of turrets. Oh, what do we got? Hager, Lennon, Bismarck, Giuseppe. Nothing too scary there. That's why I'm saying, like, it's not a bad ship. It's just that if you get baited into the secondary build on that thing, you're going to have a bad day. It is so much better with an accuracy build. It's not even, not even a question. <laughs> Made it to terror level five in the event. Nice. Guys, chill in chat, man. Just because people are getting into lobbies doesn't mean you, you got to call them, call them names and stuff, man. Chill in the chat. Have I played Titanfall 2? I think I technically have played it, but I, I was never into Titanfall. I think I played the first one for a little while and then I played the second one just to see and didn't really get into either of them, to be honest. A lot of cruisers here, so this could be a juicy one for us. And their battleships aren't particularly scary with a Bismarck and uh, Giuseppe. Lennon, maybe. Okay, Kuchizov's coming this direction, maybe. Our destroyer should be able to spot something in that gap, I would imagine. Giuseppe's here, okay. I'm spotted, of course, because they have cruisers here. And our destroyer's going to go behind the island instead of trying to spot. Don't have the torp range to hit that, unfortunately. This guy is going to make the turn, so we're going to take that shot. This is going to hurt, Giuseppe, especially with your Citadel. I uh, didn't get the Citadel. Uh, they went behind the island. I don't think it's the Destroyer. I mean, it, I guess it could be the Fletcher. I don't think it is. Oh, it is definitely the Fletcher. Okay. Fair enough. Get a shot at the Fletcher here, see if we can nickel and dime him a little bit. Nah, he turned. Unfortunate. Use this island. Oh my god, those torps look fantastic. Of course, this guy's gonna hide, so we don't have any spotting. Radar from the Giuseppe. See that blind fire. 
I hit him. <laughs> I was trying to hit the Giuseppe there without spotting because I saw somebody hit him. Hey, what is this? Why, why are you there? He's got a battleship in the center, so if Giuseppe fires his guns, he would get lighted, lit up. Again, I'm not terrified of a Giuseppe, especially with these torpedoes. I'm more worried about this fucking destroyer who's going to inevitably end up in my fucking way. This guy has all of the makings of somebody who's going to fuck me over. Let's teach this guy that the world runs on Duncan. Okay, destroyer's here. Blink, 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 you little turn. Also, watch the little birdie. Oh, we missed? Well, that's not ideal. Fortunately, so did he. Uh, his next shot might send me to the Shadow Realm. Did he just shoot me with HE? I feel like he totally shot us with HE. We gotta stop leaving this man alive. Secondaries! Get him! He's gonna turn around and torque me with the other side! God dang it, man. Why is nobody else shooting this guy? Alright. Speed boost. Speed boost, save me! You know those torps are fucking coming. Get your ass moving. Go faster! Get fucked! Little turd. Alright, we're about to get another heal too. I know that Fletcher's still out here somewhere and God knows that I don't have anybody to counter him because my team's all hiding behind me. We gotta be careful here. Aim high, see if he turns out from us. If not, probably gonna get overpins. Okay, actually got one pin. Dodge the majority. Got a beautiful look at this linen here. He's slowing down, turning towards us. All we need is a couple pins. We should be able to finish him off. We had a cruiser that was capable of hunting down the destroyer that's inevitably fucking trying to torp me. Like a radar cruiser of one or the other. You know? If only. I know, a crazy fucking concept. Alright. Shoot a superstructure, get him out of here. Be gone, foul beast. Get him out of here! All right, we're gonna use this island to protect us from the Fletcher. I think the Fletcher fucked off. Otherwise, I'd have been torped by now. Either that or he's torping the guy behind me, one or the other. Uh, he's in front of me? Nope, nope, Schroeder. Get him! He's broadside and beg- Oh my god, that's gonna hurt. That's gonna hurt. Oh my god. Three pins, but no damage. What is this guy? Feel like he's gonna turn away. Or he's just gonna slow down. Hmm. Didn't see that coming. Still got a good hit. Now he's definitely gonna speed up and turn, so we'll give a little bit more lead here. We're still spotted. The destroyer's here. Like, nobody else has an angle on us. It's just the destroyer. That was a better hit. Schroeder kills our Amagi. Okay, destroyers out that direction or just went behind this island? Shit. 
Hello, Cleveland. Welcome to British Armor Piercing. <laughs> Let's go! I love this ship. Fucking love this ship, man. Oh, fuck yourself, Kutch's off. I've got bigger fish to fry. Dude, this Schroeder's fucking begging for it. He's dead, right? He's dead here, right? No? How? He's not angled. I mean, he's slightly angled, but not enough. He has no torpedoes, so I don't know what he's doing. He's just throwing all of his hit points away at this point. All right. Swing and a miss, sunshine. Keep trying. What we got? It's uh, Peter Bag and Kuchizov. Kuchizov's a long ways away. Bismarck and Peter, Peter Bag are the ones. We still have two radar cruisers to help with the destroyer if that becomes a problem. So I'm not particularly worried here. Peter Bag could be a problem because I don't think I'm going to... Oh, there's this radar. That was wasted. Also, where the fuck is our destroyer? Why is he all the way back there? Okay, Destroyer's last known was a Delta. I don't really want to push around. I think I might just sit here and capture this base. Just... We don't have to chase these guys. We have the points lead. Just, just capture this base and wait. Let them come to us. They have no advantage here, so they have to come to us. If they want to win. Let's see if anybody's willing to... Uh... Forget where the torpedo comes out. I don't want to waste it on an island. Eh, damn it. Okay, we got the cap. Alright, battleship's running. Shocker. Kuchizov's still probably way out in the open. Got a good look here at the beater bag. Huge hit. Let's go. Just in case the destroyer gets any ideas and tries to come for us. Let's focus the Peter Bag. He's the least agile of the two. Go ahead and use one of our heals. Battleships in the cap. Still worried about where the destroyer... Okay, destroyer is way off our bow. This guy is definitely going to turn out, so we're going to aim high. Dude, this Fletcher player needs to go back to torping school. Ah, what is that? What is that, game? I think I can catch this guy with the third turret. Okay, he's slowing down, so we didn't lead him as much. Hopefully that'll finish him off. We caught him with the rear turret, too. Beautiful. Fucking beautiful. Alright, Bismarck. Bismarck does overmatch. He's got 15-inch guns. This is like the worst position to be in for this thing. I'm going to try to get the turn off. This is a terrible idea. I might just get yeeted here. If I die to a Bismarck, I might throw up. But I kind of want to get this turn off because I think I can bully this Bismarck. He's probably firing HE anyway because it's Bismarck. People are bad. Okay. I think we got, got the turn off. Should be spotting him. 
There you are, sunshine. Welcome to the party. Nice of you to get your battleship involved this late in the game. Look how accurate that is, man. Jesus. We just hit him with nine out of nine, boys. Nine out of nine. That's that's why I love this ship so much. That's why I love this ship. If you ever wondering why I like this ship so much, that's why. Because fucking battlecruiser accuracy with 17-inch guns. Look at it. You think it was a fluke? It ain't. Bonk. <laughs> Eight out of nine. <laughs> Let's go. Fucking 190k. GG's. Telling you, man. I love the ship. Fucking Duncan is where it's at, man. If you want to have fun, play some fucking Duncan. Duncan is so good. If you know what the fuck you're doing, the ship is so fun. The ship is so fun. Four kills. Just missed out on the quacking, unfortunately. 190k. 3,200 base. Let's fucking go, boys. Let's fucking go. Thank you guys so much for everything tonight, man. I hope you guys have enjoyed. I'm going to end it there because, let's be honest, I mean, that's a banger to end on. So thank you guys so much for joining me. Taha, thank you for the 279 Canadian as well. Get some goats in the chat for him. We're 20 likes away. We didn't hit 200. Oh, sadness. Sadness. We didn't hit 200 likes. Unfortunate. Wexel, good to see you. Oliver, appreciate you guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. This was a pretty solid stream, I think. Uh, I don't think we had too many bad moments. Let's look. See what we had. See what we had. One, two, three... Four, five. Jesus! Game! Stop jump scaring me with these fucking pop-ups! <laughs> God dang it! God, now I gotta recount. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. Six and three isn't bad. Yeah, not bad. Six and three, we'll take those. Not too shabby. That's about 66% win rate. So, uh, good lord, man. Those fucking pop-ups are terrible. They always gotta try to, like jump scary and shit still got a 64 percent win rate despite being like the worst player on the planet playing like an absolute monkey half the time but thank you guys so much for uh, joining me hopefully you guys enjoyed we're actually right on the verge of 200 you guys are crazy <laughs> you guys just put like 20 likes on the thing and half a second i knew you could do it i knew you could i had faith i didn't doubt you but if you like what i'm doing punch the like button Leave a comment below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Time for dinner, boys. Have a great night.